Day 5, this week in my maths group you're going to be looking at angles on a straight line at the beginning of the week. Now this is really straightforward, all you really need to know is that the angles on a straight line always add up to 180. So to be able to find a missing angle on a straight line you just need to take away the angle you already know from 180 using column subtraction. So let's look at this example together. We have our straight line. We know that one of the angles is 127 degrees and we need to find the missing angle. So to be able to do this, all we need to do is 180, take away the angle we already know, which in this case is 127. So we would lay this out using column subtraction. Now we start with the ones numbers, as you already know, but we can't do zero take away seven, it's impossible. So we need to exchange. So following the usual steps of column subtraction, and you take one away from the 8 in the tens column, swapping it for a 7, and then carry over your 1, so your 0 now turns into 10. You now should be able to complete your column subtraction. So 10 take away 7 is 3, move to your next column, 7 take away 2 is 5, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So your missing angle is 53 degrees. So try this one on your own. Remember, all you need to do is take away the angle you've been given from 180. So pause this video, have a go, and I'll go through it with you in a moment. Welcome back. So for this calculation, the angle you've been given is 38 degrees. So you're doing 180, take away 38. You use your column subtraction, so you lay it out like you can see here. You can't do 0, take away 8, so we need to exchange again. So you swap the 8 for a 7, carry over the 1 to make 10. And then you could do 10 take away 8, which is 2, 7 take away 3, which is 4, and 1 take away 0, which is 1. So your missing angle is 142 degrees. Now sometimes you may be given two angles already and have to find what the third one is. So problems like this, all you need to do is add another step to it. So you need to add together the two angles you've been given to find out what that total is. So in this case, we need to add together 88 and 43 using column addition. So... 3 add 8 is 11, so we could put our 1 in our 1's column and carry over the other 1. Then you would do 8 add 4 add 1, which equals 13. So you put the 3 in the 10's column and carry over the 1. So now you know the two angles we've been given already add up to make a total of 131 degrees. We can use this number now to use our method that we were doing earlier to find out the missing angle. So we would do 180, take away our total number, which was 131. So we cannot do 0, take away 1. So we need to borrow again. So the 8 gets swapped to make a 7. Carry over the 1 to make a 10. 10 take away 1 is 9. 7 take away 3 is 4. And 1 take away 1 is 0. So the missing angle must be 49. Now give this one a go. Remember, there are two steps for this one. Add the numbers you know before you take the total away from 180. Pause the video and we'll go through it together in a moment. Welcome back. So for this one, the two angles we've already been given are 41 degrees and 57 degrees. So even though they're opposite, they need to be added together to make the total of what we already know. So using column addition, 41 add 57, 1 add 7 is 8, and 4 add 5 is 9. So the two angles added together make 98 degrees. Now we know that total, that's the number we need to take away from the 180. So using column subtraction, 180 take away 98. We can't do 0, take away 8. So we need to exchange from the 8. Swap the 8 with a 7, carry over the 1 to make 10. And now we can complete our question. Zero take, 10 take away 8 is 2. 7 take away 9 we cannot do. So we need to borrow from the 1 in the hundreds column. So cross out the 1, swap it for a 0, carry over the 1, which turns the 7 into 17. Now you would do 17 take away 9, which equals 8, and 0 take away 0 is 0. So we know that our missing angle is 82. So you should find this really straightforward. If you've got one missing angle, you just take away that um, angle you know already from 180. And if you've been given two angles, you add them together before you take away the total from 180. Good luck!